John McCain speaking after his three victories in the Potomac primaries tonight uh, from Alexandria, Virginia. To uh, the tunes of uh, Johnny B. Good, instrumental only. Uh, and, and a statement which I hope transcends political uh, orientation and party affiliation and all that. I would think, Chris, as we start uh, to analyze what we've heard here, the rule has to be, if you can, always speak before Barack Obama, <laughs> not after Barack Obama. I have to tell you, you know, it's, it's part of reporting this case of, of this e election. The feeling most people get when they hear a Barack Obama speech, my, I felt this thrill right. going up my leg. I well, mean, I don't have that too often. Steady. No, seriously. It's a dramatic event. He speaks about America in a way that has nothing to do with politics. It has to do with the feeling we have about our country. And, I, and, and that is an objective assessment. John McCain is a hero. I thought it was very appropriate that Barack Obama extended that that fact and very to, savvy. His audience, to an audience of people who were very probably liberal and probably anti-republican he said this is a american hero i'm running against and then of course he went in to delineate his differences with him it shows a lot of class i think there will be class and if there is such a contest come uh, next uh, this coming summer but i just think that uh, mccain's problem is he's over seventy he's standing there with john warner who's much older than him and he's standing there with tom davis who's retiring about to retire. he looks like an army in retreat in Virginia. That's what it looks like tonight. Mm. The Virginia Republican Party used to own that state. Uh, they could elect people that are not particularly likable. They were able to do that in the past. Now they're having a hard time uh, even fielding a candidate against Mark Warner. He's going to, the former governor is going to run for that Senate seat of John Warner's. No relation. And it's going to be very tough for them. And I think the fact that Barack Obama was able to carry uh, so much of that uh, primary down there uh, today it tells you that he has a fighting chance to carry the general. That is going to be a tough state. Um, any southern state's tough for the Democrats. Virginia has always been a Republican state, going back to the John Kennedy days. And, uh, but I do think it's competitive. I think so much is happening this election, so much that's unpredictable. And every night we come on here, we are surprised. By something, at least, yes. at, at least in the details. All right.